Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Lands Blog. Case, Case, I'm over here. I'm over here. Okay, get another shot of the dog. Everybody wants the dog. Hey Brando, how are you buddy? What's going on? Now twist your head like you're not sure what I'm saying. Do you want something? Okay, that was disappointing. Uh, Daily Lands Blog, and I, I was reminiscing, uh, and it was not reminiscing about a good time, uh, but I was, I was still thinking about how significant it was in my life. The Olympics are going on right now. And four years ago, the first three days of the Olympics, uh, I was hosting for TSN, so I was in the studio. And I can remember distinctly thinking to myself, I just feel terrible. It was like, I don't know, about a week before it started to hit me and I, 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 would, I would really, really focus on, I need to feel better, I need to get better, I need to get better. Oh my God, it's only four days, it's only three days, it's only two days. And the whole thing is ad lib, right? There's, there's no script, there's, you're just winging it. That's what broadcasters do, and especially in the Olympics. Uh, and I found myself really fearing the next day, the night before, thinking, oh my gosh, if I don't feel better, how am I going to do this? And I did not feel better. And I can remember driving in thinking to myself, wow, this is, this is what I dread the most. This is bringing back memories for me, even though it was 2012, of 2008, thinking, I, I hate this job. I hate how I feel. I hate how it makes me feel. I hate how it makes me feel inferior. And I remember going on the air, just sort of sitting there, um, like with, uh, with a couple of cards in front of me, doing this, sort of banging them on the table like you know what you're doing, and thinking to myself, okay, I'm here in 10, 9. And I'm thinking, I can't do this. I have nothing to say. I am just going to die. I'm going to screw it up. I'm going to make a fool of myself. But waving the white towel or the white flag at that point was not an option. It's not like I could get up and say, you know, I'm just not feeling well today. And I went on the air. And you know what? Do you know what happened? What happened, Case? You bombed? I bombed. Uh, I didn't tell anyone at the time, but I remember, uh, was it that night I came home or the next day, Case? And I said to you, well, you know, you said, how did it go? And I said, uh, well, you know, it wasn't my best day. As a matter of fact, it was, uh, I thought I was terrible. And you, not in an unkind way, said, yeah, you know, you didn't seem like you were at your best. And that went on for three days. And I remember thinking, how am I going to go 16 days with this? It was just, it was just this awful fear of thinking, I can't do something that I know I can do. I can't do something that I've done a million times before. And the easiest thing in the world is just talking. And yet... I feared it because the voice was talking to me, telling me, you can't do it. You're not good enough. You got nothing to say. You're going to make a fool out of yourself. That was the first three days of London 2012. And I was desperate. And I remember going and thinking, okay, well, I, I got to do something. And I started taking astaxanthin. And uh, I'm not sure that it's exactly made. It's a supplement, right? It's one of those things where you think to yourself, well, it can't hurt. Now, people have made millions or billions on the concept that it can't hurt. I started taking that and what was the other thing, Case? Saffron, because I had read somewhere that they were both pretty good for potentially for depression. And you know what? I felt better the next day. And you know what? I've not hit the skids like that again. I've struggled at times, but nothing nearly that bad. Now, I don't take astaxanthin or saffron anymore because saffron, first of all, is unbelievably expensive. Oh my God, you can't get it anywhere. And when you do, you go, I wish I didn't get it. But I just wanted to share with you um, what depression does to me and how the first three days of the Olympics for me were really, really painful where I just thought everyone knew too. You know, I just thought... Everybody's thinking, oh my God, this guy used to be actually, you know, okay, and now he's terrible. Fortunately, uh, most people don't notice you the way you notice you. Nobody pays attention to you the way you pay attention to you. So, um, you know, I, I think I dodged a few bullets there, but that's the voice of depression. Yeah, you know what? I've heard it. Sicknutweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. I try to give you. Um, all I've got, which is the ability, I hope, to make you feel like, yeah, you know what? I've been there. He gets me.